how to use the Emotion app for project management. Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this video, I'll show you guys how you can easily manage your project using the Motion app because I end up doom scrolling so often that without the Motion app, I was getting out of control with the amount of time that we feel like we don't have any time, but the Motion app can help you with an AI assistant that will help you in making sure all your tasks get done. And even if there is something that is left out, you're easily going to make sure that it is going to get done on the next day with their auto rescheduling features. So let's get into the Motion app and how we can use it to optimize our time. Now, to get started, the first thing you're going to do is go on to usemotion.com and click on Try Motion for free. Then you're just going to sign up with your email address and payment information. Once completed, this will be your Motion dashboard. And if you're wondering about the pricing of Motion, it starts at $12 for a team and $19 for an individual plan. Plus, if you choose monthly billing, it's going to be $34 and $20. They have automated scheduling and planning with AI, calendar management, a booking template, booking pages, and much more. Now, let's go back into our dashboard on Motion, and you can get a free trial of Motion as well. You don't have to worry about whether you'll like it or not. Right now, it's going to show me where I am at currently. So it's 4.30. It's around 4.30 on the Friday. Uh, now... From here, what I'm going to do is I have already linked a calendar. So I've linked my calendar over here. You can click on account on the right panel and then click on add Google Calendar, add Outlook or add iCloud Calendar. Whichever calendar you use the most frequently is the one you want to add because your project would need to align with your personal calendars as well. Now for project management primarily, you're going to go into projects on the top and it's time to start building projects. Now, if you just click on add task, you're going to directly add a task. What you're going to do, we're just going to leave all the grouping and we're just going to reset it. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on add project on the top. Once you add your project, you're going to build different projects into different sections. So this is going to be my first project, which is going to be my website launch. And we are just going to be a to z web planning like this and then i'll just click on create project now once a project has been created you can click on add tasks to add different tasks within your project now i'm going to turn off auto scheduling you can even turn this on and what you're going to do is you're going to start adding your tasks so the first task is uh, build web logo and then you can add the duration that this is going to take this might take uh, to be determined and I don't know if this is going to be you know uh, it's going to take me one hour two hours three hours however long then you're also going to choose which schedule is this supposed to fit in so this is supposed to fit in any time of the day or in my work hours so I can click on add schedule and let's say I want to work on my website every day from after my nine to five I want this to be my six to nine so six to nine and I want to copy this and I want to apply it want to apply this six to nine throughout the week. I want to work on my website. So these are the three hours I would be working on my website. And then I'll just click on save changes over here. Now for all the tasks that I did not save that, but for all the tasks that are going to be present within this particular segment, which is going to be my side hustle. This is the schedule name, which is going to be my side hustle. And we're just going to copy the side hustle throughout the week. Schedule for the side hustle. So all of my side hustles need to be done within this time. I'll click on save changes over here. Now, after that, I have a due date for this, a time where this will be auto scheduled into. And after that, I'll just click on uh, create task and I auto scheduled it. And you will see auto schedule could not fit this task reason for that is if I go into my calendar, you will see it could not fit in the task. Why? Because uh, it does not have a particular duration. So if I want, I can choose a duration for this, but I don't have a duration. So it's going to be really difficult for it to determine when to fit this in. So what I'm going to do is I can choose a start date or an end date. Let's say it's due on the 8th, but I want to make sure 
I want the start date to be around 20 on the second, like this, and then I'll click on save task, like this. However, you will see that this will be a unresolved task because uh, it has a start date and an end date where we haven't started working on it or haven't scheduled it. In. Now in our project, let's add another task for our project management, which might be to set up a Shopify account. So once we do that, let's say I am supposed, to, this is going to take me around two hours. And then let's say the minimum chunk is gonna be one hours. I want to complete this in my side hustle. And you can also add labels and I'll just click on create task. Now this is going to be auto scheduled. This was auto scheduled for Friday, May 31st. Now I'll add another task, which is going to be to uh, review sample products. And let's say this is going to be in my side hustle time. It's going to take me around two hours to do this as well. And for this, I also will have going to be no chunks in this. So this is going to happen in one flow, one go. And I also am going to, yeah, I'll leave it in the to-do. I'll just click on create task. Now, after that, let's say I am going to add another task and this is going to be add my products to website. Now, this is going to be blocked by whether or not I have created my Shopify website. So for that, what you're going to do is you are going to click on blocked by and we're going to create our task first and we're going to click on add task. And this is going to be blocked by the fact that if I haven't set up my Shopify account, I wouldn't be able to add the products to the website. So this is going to automatically make sure that you guys can see it has scheduled to set up my Shopify account, review sample product, and it will make sure that to add my... Yeah, to set up my Shopify account because it is blocking it. If I move into the next week, it will actually schedule this into the next week so to add my uh, products to the website. You can see it has been scheduled for the 3rd of June, like so. And in this way, you can manage your projects on Motion. It's relatively simple and easy and anyone can do it. Now, this is just one project. You can actually make multiple different projects. You can see if I go into all tasks, these are all for one project. So if I click on add project, and this is going to be a project called maybe something like a uh, give back like this. And this is going to be uh, for maybe a good cause. So I want to help with cleaning school like this. And the duration for this is going to be, it's going to take me like two hours. And then I can set a date for that as well. And a deadline. If this has a minimum chunk, it has no chunks. And I want this to be in my personal hours, not in my side hustle, not in my day, not in the work hours, not at night, but in my personal hours. And then I'll create this task. And you will see that if I go ahead, it has scheduled this for 10 a.m. because 10 a.m. is are my personal hours in this particular motion calendar. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to get started with the project management on motion. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.